Hello. I don't know how good my signal is out here. I usually do all my TikToks inside, so. <clears throat> God, I am shaking. I'm doing all right. I, uh, oh, man. There's been a lot of shit going on. A lot of stuff going on. I'm going to try and clean it up because apparently I cuss a lot. But... <clears throat> That's how I express myself. That's the best way I can say it. I mean... I don't... I don't believe in bad words um I say the f bomb a lot <clears throat> sorry my sinuses are insane today um I say the f word a lot because that is how I get my point across if I was to just you know say oh this woman is a horrible person and she ruined my life no that doesn't do anything justice that <sighs> good morning it doesn't do what I went through any kind of justice and I'm hoping that people from what the hails page come on here because I had there was a lot of people on there saying they didn't watch a video because I cussed too much, or, you know, whatever. I said there were a lot of F-bombs. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. And that being raised in that environment is what did it. No, being raised in that environment with her turned me into someone completely opposite from her. But, hoping some of them get on here and ask me some questions because it's a lot easier to answer questions on here mm -hmm. rather than going back and forth on Facebook. I hate Facebook. I just do. It's pointless. Not pointless, but you know. I don't like going through and reading a crap ton of comments and having to reply to every single one because every single one has a different point of view or a different question or a different comment that ignore my chickens they're being buttheads today <clears throat> why is she like that um <laughs> so her mother Marsha is Oh, Lord. Marsha is very strict. She is massive OCD. And, I mean, according to the stories that Lacey or Lynette shared with me, who knows what is true of them. Marsha was also abusive. Which I can see it, because, you know, she's, she wasn't very nice to me. So, and when I say wasn't nice to me, I mean the fact that 
she called me fat and told me I couldn't be a ballerina at 10 years old. She said that I was too fat to be a ballerina because my thighs were big. I have thunder thighs and all of my all of my followers know I have thunder thighs. I have thick thighs. Uh, nothing I can do about that. That is genetics. I can't help that. So, but because I had thick thighs, I couldn't be a ballerina. And because I had a big butt, I couldn't be a ballerina. And that is what Marsha told me at 10 years old, who is Lynette's mother. Um, that's the only thing that I can think of, is that she learned from that. So, Lynette learned how to be a mom, be a mom, through another abusive mother, and she didn't break the cycle. That's... That's the best answer I have for that. I mean... What? Thank you. But yeah, so... Um... I'm... I don't know, I'm just gonna... Wait? I commented on What the Hales page, so... That's an awesome name. I legit got this app as a joke <laughs> when it was still musically. <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna get it and I'm gonna post some dumb stuff. And then here I am, freaking what? Nine? No, yeah. About nine years later. Yeesh. But yeah. Thank you. Hey. You're not going back up to the coop. You need to be outside. Ma'am. What are you flipping out about? She's legit flipping out. Oh, far from famous. Good grief. No. I don't think I could handle being a famous person. My mind does not have the capacity for that. And my anxiety. It's going. How about yourself? Fun. Fun. Sitting outside next to my chickens. They're being noisy butts today. One of them, she's like flipping out. Oh, probably because I took her eggs this morning. <laughs> Your eggs aren't in the coop. Sorry. I took them. And I eated them. <sighs> Do I think anything will happen to her? Unfortunately, no. I really don't. Um, and everybody's been asking why I don't turn her in and why I don't go after her and all this other stuff. <laughs> For me, it is about keeping my kids safe and keeping my kids from being exposed to 
her psychoticness. Um, so me personally, not only do I not have the money for that, because I have kids. Anyone who has kids knows you don't have fucking money. Sorry. You don't have freaking money. Um, literally all our money goes to food and kids. But, um, four, stop picking on the babies. You're so mean. Good grief. But, I don't want to put my kids through all of that. And do I feel absolutely horrible? And does my heart hurt for Harley Grace? Yes, it absolutely does. I... <sighs> when she told me that she was getting a baby, a brand new, newborn baby, I, I was speechless, I was flabbergasted, I didn't know what to say, other than, should you really be doing that? Um, and I asked her, I was like, do you, you can't take care of a baby. What do you think you're doing? I was like, you don't have a job. You're on disability. John's on disability. How are you going to take care of this baby? And she was like, oh, well, we'll, we'll get money from such and such. And uh, after we adopt her, we'll get her put on food stamps and WIC. And I'm like, okay, yeah. Wick lasts up until what? They're five, I think, is what it is. I don't know how it is in Florida. But, um, well, she, she so she claims she's disabled. She can't work. I'm sorry, but if you're walking around, hello, B. If you're walking around your property and you're building all of these things and you're taking care of all of these turtles and you're, you know, physically doing manual labor, then you are okay enough to sit behind a desk and work. Or, I don't know, sit behind a register and work. So, I mean, the fact that she says she's, she's disabled and she can't do anything is part of her, oh, woe is me, I need help. And that's what people don't understand. Hey, Rick. <laughs> um, it's okay, Heather. Um, right, like, you can work. She can work. She can find things to do to earn money to take care of the things that she needs. She just does not want to because she likes being the victim. She likes playing the victim. She is very well versed in playing the victim. The, oh, woe is me. My, what is he even? Boyfriend, husband, ex-husband, like, she says they're not together, and she claimed that she had to move from her old property where she had just built a brand new, beautiful house, yet she had to move away from there to get away from John, yet He's living on the same property as her, but he's so abusive. I mean, the dude is fucking psycho. He... <sighs> so, the their relationship is so toxic 
that I legit ran. I ran away from there because I was not about to have my son around that fighting all the time. Not going to happen. Um, I had, let's see, what was that? 2012? Jay was born in 2011. Yeah, so 2012. I had moved in with her in Florida. I was there maybe, maybe, um, maybe two months. I don't even remember how long, honestly. But at first, everything was good because they put on a real good front. Oh, we don't fight. That's one of the things she said. We don't fight. Because I told her I don't want fighting around my kid. Point blank period. Done. No fighting around my kid. And she's like, oh yeah, we don't fight. We get along great. He's awesome. He's he's such a good guy. And da 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 da. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So I go down there and I stay with them. And first week or two perfectly fine. We had fun. We went to the beach. Lord help me. Oh, we went to the beach. She, uh, let me finish this first. Train of thought. Um, about two weeks in, they started fighting, fighting and arguing all the time. And when I say fighting, I'm not talking about yelling. Like, Oh, you're such a dead it. No. It was screaming. Screaming at each other. Back and forth, calling each other every name in the book. For hours. Like, hours. I had to take my son on walks to get out of the house and get him away from the fighting and the screaming and I just couldn't. So I called um, yeah she doesn't want to work on herself. She thinks she is God's gift from heaven. She believes that she there is nothing wrong with her. She is the perfect person. She exuberates grace and hospitality. She is psychotic. My ex-stepmother. And welcome. Um, so, if anybody doesn't follow What the Hails, um, hold on. How? They changed it again. Hold on. Um, I can't comment on my own live anymore, I guess. Um, let's, so, what the hails, it's, hello, she is a narcissist, Ver yes, big time. Um, is anybody here from what the hails page, can you comment their um, Facebook and their YouTube tag. I'm hoping. Ma'am, you are not going back to the coop right now. Um, so it's what, like W-H-A-T, the, and then H-A-L-E, and then the money sign is, yes, thank you, Kara, what the hails. They are in what seems like a never-ending battle with my ex-stepmother. Um, most of them, pretty much all of them... <laughs> know her as Lynette, L-I-E, lie, because she lies, 
um, her full name is Lynette Michelle Lacey Alexis. And then whatever last name she decides she wants to use for the week. She has plenty to choose from. Um, right now I think she's using... Um, I think she's using my sister's dad's name, Preston, at the moment. Am I okay with what the hails? Yes. I appreciate everything that Jeremy and George are trying to do. Um, they're exposing her from... They're exposing all of her lies, and I am very grateful. I, When somebody messaged me, and at first I read it wrong. I, I feel so bad that I read it wrong because I was a little bit shitty. I apologize for language, but then I reread it, and she was like, um, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> the amount of names she has is ridiculous, but, um, but yeah, so, completely lost my train of thought like three times now. Sorry, there's a glare. Yeah, it's in a ponytail. Um, yes, Jeremy. Thank you. <laughs> ADHD. Man, it is, it is not to be messed with. Um, I definitely appreciate everything that they have done so far. Um, and the fact that they are exposing her all of her lies because for right scroll brain um for years and years and years oh my gosh i have been trying to get people to understand the lies that this woman tells and the webs that she spins and you know it it is very refreshing for someone to be able to point that out. Yes, my love. Oh, thank you, my love. Um, but yeah, so I, I appreciate everything George and Jeremy are doing. Definitely. Um, but back to when I stayed there. Um, after that screaming and fighting started happening, I told her, I was like, I'm not doing this. I will not have my son around this. I told you when we came here, I was not going to put up with it. So either you stop, you kick him out, or I'm gone. I'm taking my kid and we're gone. And fighting didn't stop. So I said, all right, I'm leaving. And Actually, I don't think I even told her that I was leaving. I messaged my boyfriend at the time, who is now my husband. Um, I messaged him. I was like, I have to get out of here. I have to. I cannot, I cannot do this. I can't have this around my kid. Um, yeah, I can see right through her because I, I know. I've lived it. Like, that was a big wasp. Jeez. Um. But. Long story short. He came down. He picked me up. Me and my son. We left. I stayed in contact with her. Um. A little bit. Not a lot. She would call. I would ignore it. Um, how, how long much of your childhood was stuck with her? 
Um, so she got with my dad when I was five. And, um, <clears throat> you give a five-year-old little girl a mom after her mom has just been taken away from her, um, I was all for it. And she was, oh my God, she was the nicest. She would do my hair. She would, um, I can see if I can post, um, post this because it does save my live videos. So I can see if I can post it. Um, I'll see if I can post it and, um, I'll either post it on, um, I don't know. I don't know how I would do that. I could send it to Jeremy and he can, I'll do that. I'll send it to Jeremy and he can share it because at this point she already knows I'm speaking out. So <sighs> come what may, she's going to make my life hell either way. So I'll just have to put up with it. Um, I am mid Iowa. Thank you. Um, so yeah, being a five-year-old little girl, having someone come in and do your hair and, you know, put you in these cute little dresses and, you know, be a mom to you, I was all for it. And I don't know when that changed. I have, I have blocked out a lot Um, I don't remember most of my childhood. I don't remember anything good. Um, I see pictures and I'm like, I don't remember that. It looks like we had a really good time. I don't remember that. <sighs> um. <sighs> I don't remember really any good times with her. I have good memories with my sister, um, with, you know, my sister and I would go riding horses and we worked with horses with our neighbor and, you know, we went to horse sales and, you know, her and I, we had a lot of fun together. We did a lot of stuff together. My sister practically raised me, um, Lacey, Michelle, Lynette, whatever, um, she, she likes to claim she raised me, she did not, she was either working or sent me out to do chores, that's pretty much all she did, she didn't do anything. The chores were put on me. I had to feed animals. I had to clean the house. I had to clean her bedroom and her bathroom and my bathroom. And, you know, she didn't do anything. Um, 